Okay, here you're going to have a bit of a disembodied voice talking to you about how to do your splint with tape. Hopefully this is the tape you have, or if you've got elastoplast that's fine too because that actually is elastic as the name suggests. So we take up one piece of tape, possibly about 10 centimetres in length, pop that one there, and then we take another piece, again about 10 centimetres, and pop it there. So what you're going to do with your bandaging, the important thing to, no there's two important things, one is that you don't do it so tight that it cuts off blood supply, but uh, sorry it's your index finger isn't it, so you don't want it so tight that it cuts off blood supply, um, but um, when you're splinting it you don't want to pull it out of position either, it needs to just be straight, so yeah. Anyway, right, so, take one piece, oh, that was the other golden rule, I knew I was forgetting something. The other golden rule is you don't cover the joint, you mustn't cover the joint, so your joint still needs to work, because it, for proper healing, you need to be able to do that while it's healing. Anyway, right, so you take the tape and start it off on the uninjured finger, you just put a little bit on the side. And then it comes round and then because it, it goes over the top, you don't, oh, sorry I've got stuck funnily. So you start it off when you put it on there, you don't bring it all the way round up here, you do it at the bottom like that and then that means that when you come over the top like that with your thing with, with no creases in it, mine has but yours won't have any creases in it, when you do that, it won't be circumferential on either of the fingers because that's got a gap there and this one has got a gap in there also. So that's the first one and I can still bend and they're fine. And then the second one, same thing. So start, start on the uninjured finger. My hand's in the way, isn't it? Yeah, start on the uninjured finger and just start it from literally underneath like that. And then again, the same principle, you're going over the top. You put them together and then let the tape kind of pick up its tension. Don't pull it really tight. And then you've got the same thing. You've no, but neither of those fingers have got circumferential bandage on them. And you do that up. Make sure you can still bend make sure you've still got a capillary refill that's sensible um, and that it's warm and it doesn't tingle and Bob's your uncle. That's it.